Boiling water. While boiling water, convection comes into the picture. The heat from the burner causes the cold water at the base to warm up and rise to the top. While it rises, the cold water moves to the base by replacing it and resulting in a circular motion. Blood circulation. Convection is used by warm-blooded animals to regulate the temperature of their bodies, which may come as a surprise to some individuals. In the human body, blood circulation is an example of forced convection, as is the human heart functions as a pump, the body s cells, which produce heat as they work, transfer thermal energy to air or water moving over the skin. Air conditioner. A constant use of air conditioners is required on a hot summer day. The cooling of air in air conditioners is accomplished through the use of the convectional cooling principle. The air conditioners are responsible for releasing cold air into the atmosphere. The heavy cold air which is heavy than warm air, moves to the base of the vessel. Due to the fact that warm air is less dense than cold air, the air conditioner rises and is drawn. A convection current is thus created and the room is gets cooled. Radiator Radiators work in the same way that air conditioners do. The heating element is located at the bottom of the radiators. Because cold air is dense, it sinks and is drawn into the radiator, warmed, and released. The cold air is replaced by hot air, which fills the void left by the cold air. As a result, a convection current is created. Refrigerator The working principle of refrigerators is very similar to that of air conditioners. In the case of refrigerators, the freezer is located on top. As previously stated, because warm air is less dense, it rises and is thus cooled by the freezer. Because this cool air is denser, it sinks and thus helps to maintain the lower part of the refrigerator cool. Hot air balloon. The principle of convection is responsible for the ability of hot air balloons to rise. You may have seen the heater at the base of hot air balloon, this heater warms the air as it rises. In the balloon, the hot air that rises is trapped, causing the balloon to rise as well. When the hot air balloon is about to land, the pilot releases some of the hot air. The balloon descends as the hot air is replaced by cold air. Rainfall and thunderstorm. It is possible to see the role of convection in rains and thunderstorms. We know that when warm water rising to the surface of an ocean causes cloud formation. These warm water droplets then saturate, resulting in the formation of clouds. The small clouds formed by this process collide with one another to form larger clouds. These large cloud formations, also known as cumulonimbus, cause rain and thunderstorms. Melting of ice. Melting of an ice is another common example of convection, which we observed in our daily life. The ice s surface or boundary rises as warm air wax over it or water flows beneath it that is warmer than the ice. Whenever the temperature of the ice s surface or border changes, the ice melts. Similarly, a frozen material begins to melt when immersed in water. Convection Oven the majority of ovens operate on the concept of convection. The forced convection, a type of convection is used in case of ovens. Because of the heating, molecules in the air become heated and begin to move around more quickly. As a result of the warm air circulating inside the oven, the food inside is cooked. Hair dryer. A heating coil is used as the heat source, which warms the surrounding air. To deliver warm air to wet hair, a fan produces an airflow. Finally, it results into heat transfer from heating coil to the hair. Graphics card. Graphic card S chip is another common example of thermal convection. A solid metal body, referred to as a heat sink, with cooling fins is placed on top of the chip. The GPU heat absorbed by the heat sink must be evacuated as rapidly as possible to avoid overheating.
This is achieved by using a fan mounted on top of the GPU that generates an airflow that passes through the cooling fins. Heat is absorbed by the airflow and then blown away. This mounted fan ISN, T always switched on. If the chip does not generate a lot of heat, for example, if it does not have to perform complex calculations to display graphics, as in games, the fan is usually turned off. Warm air is lighter than cold air, which is sufficient to carry heat away from the heat sink in this scenario. This appears to mean that the heated air rises on its own, carrying the heat with it. As a result, an active fan ISN, T required to create a flow, even if the PC fans generally do. Critical FAQs What is convection? The fluid flow produces heat energy transmission. If the fluid closer to the heat source receives heat energy, its density decreases and it rises. Then that fluid is replaced by the denser cold fluid. This continuous cycle leads to the transfer of heat energy called convection. What is convection current? The movement which causes the motion. The continuous molecular movement forms the circular motion within the fluid known as a convection current. What are the types of convection? Depending on the use of an external source, convection can be classified into two types. Natural convection, a heat transfer mechanism that does not rely on an external source of fluid motion. E.g., sea breeze. Forced convection, a heat transfer mechanism that depends on an external source such as pumps or fans. E.g., water geysers. In which phase of materials convection occurs? Convection takes place in fluid. Convection, a type of heat energy transfer occurs only in liquid or gases i.e. it takes place in fluids. One of the best example of convection is the rainfall. What happens after adding hot water into the cold water? One needs to mix hot and cold water to get warm water. When hot water is added to the cold water, convection takes place. Because of this the temperature of the hot water decreases by resulting into the warm water. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domains. scientific calculator and many more other tools.